and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first, I don't know if you'd call this a tier one deck, but our first like meta deck that we're really going to be playing where I'm using wild cards. Uh, we just did it here. We just built um, a Heimerdinger Lux control deck. Wanted to build a Lux deck because as y'all know, if you watch like one of the other videos, we got a, you know, a couple, I already had one Lux and then we got two Luxes like in the same video. Um, so we're putting together a Heimerdinger Lux control deck built around playing a lot of spells. This is the list over here. And then of course our top end being Heimerdinger and Lux, both cards that care about spells. Lux just got a, uh, a power bump. Lux used to be a three, four is now a, a four or five. And whenever it transforms, transforms to a five, six. Um, but whenever you cast six plus mana of spells, you get to create a final spark. And final sparks are just zero mana and it does four damage to an enemy unit but also you know has overwhelm so the extra damage goes to the nexus uh, so very very powerful card um, so every time you spend six mana you get a final spark because um, it levels up lux uh, so yeah lux is pretty awesome but then we also have heimerdinger um, this card's pretty crazy this is gonna be my first time playing heimerdinger but basically um, whenever you cast a spell, so, you know, not creatures, but spells, you create a fleeting turret in hand with its equal cost. And then that fleeting turret costs zero. So what the, the fleeting turrets are basically tokens, if you, if you know magic. So basically you create a token in hand that you get to play for zero mana. So basically if you play a spell that costs zero, you make a zero mana, zero one token, and then you can play that, you know, um, you know, one mana is you get a one, one, two mana, you get a two, one tough. You get 3-1 Elusive at 3, which that's going to be important. 4-1 Fearsome, and so on. And then at 8 mana, which we have the Progress Day, which costs 8. We can make an 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight, T-Rex. Sorry, T-Hex. Um, but yeah, so this, this should be pretty fun. Uh, your people in chat said this is a, this is a good, solid deck, um, but can be a little difficult to play. This will be my first time playing it, so... Um, you know, maybe a little difficult to play. We'll see. If, we'll see. Um, but hopefully, hopefully it's good. You know, like, you know, trying out a meta deck. All right. Uh, let's see. Play. So we're going to go to ranked. I, <clears throat> some other people in chat had just like some other decks that I've imported some stuff. Um, this is the one that we're going to start with, though. Here we go. Heimer Lux Control. Oh, wait, wait. Cancel, cancel. I didn't do ranked. There we go, ranked. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly when going back to Magic. I'm playing this one for now because yeah, this game is awesome. So I assume I'm supposed to keep Heimerdinger. I assume I mulligan this eight drop. I think I'm just going to mulligan the 8-drop and kind of keep these other things. I don't know. See, you know, I'll have to play the deck a little bit to really see. So I like the Chump Wump. And Chump Wump, you know, can get gets two Mushroom Clouds in hand. So, like, those are extra spells for us to use for stuff. Good draw with the Mystic Shots. The Yordle here is with me. gonna kill this thing you hard mulligan for Heimer in every Heimer deck <laughs> yeah I gotta kill it that thing's good let's kill it so what is, so there is Zed Yasuo so they're trying to like stun and recall take from the rich give to me Having that extra spell mana in this kind of deck is is pretty valuable. Bring me tea to gain so I could see the players. intrigue to not playing the pickpocket and just trying to get more mana kind of thing. Or, but that's pretty awesome for us. We get to attack in. Yeah, they, they block, but, you know, we get a free kill. 
That's good. They didn't, you know, play something that killed my 3-1. Alright, so we'll play this, we'll get two Mushroom Clouds, and then we'll discard those two Mushroom Clouds to draw two. That's a pretty sweet combo. Or I could also Mystic Shot Zed. Feel, feel like they have... They want to have protection for Zed. Whenever we play a one drop, what do we get? We just get a one one. Embrace the shadow. Unity. Pretty positive my uh, Mystic Shot was getting countered. I am a true master. Yeah, I mean, they got a bunch of spells. What does Heimer turn into like the other one? A progress day. Two mana, we get a 2-1 tough. It's not really any different. Engines don't determine themselves. Getting that chump blocker out. That's good. My life will be ordered. Okay. Still puts Zed in their hand for this next turn. So detain, purify. I'll take it from here. Too many ideas, not enough hands. All right, I'll be able to purify these these things and turn them into non flyers. Roar! 
So if you detain something and then you purify your own follower, then they don't, then it's gone for good. They don't get it back. Even if they kill your follower. Is that how that works? Get Correct. Okay. That's how that works. To find me mushrooms. There's always a way out. No. Fermentation for optimal outcome. So you've seen four power worth of turrets. Whenever you cast a spell, create a turret in hand, and then it gets plus one, plus one, and costs zero. Yeah. I mean, they're making bigger Zeds, but I'm just going to be blocking the Zeds, right? So that's like not a big deal, right? Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. I'll just do this right now. You know, I guess now I don't get to play that thing, but I will. Because I'm not sure exactly how this is going to be, like, if I get to block or not. So, 10 is the most cards we can have in hand. I will play my part. We go as one. First beam. All the people. All right, you block. Five mana still. Excuse you. Yeah, there's so many options with this deck. Wow. I don't see that's the thing is I don't really feel like I have to kill Zed. But Zed makes like two awesome things each turn. But like whatever, I just I just block with all these crappy things that I have. I have like infinite crappy creatures to block with. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Will kneel before Noxus. Now that's scary. All right, I guess I am going to just waste this mana, so might as well play this. Don't play the turret so I can hex next turn? What does that mean? So I can hex next turn.
T-Hex, the 8 mana turret. Oh, so I, I could play this and then get the 8 mana turret and play the 8, eight mana 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, that's fine. I earn my rank. You cannot escape. Cute. We got we got some extra space. T Hex. Got another Zed. Round and round yes, this is the ring. Dude, this deck's sweet. There's so much stuff to do. So much stuff to do. Um, Ghost you and your loser. Hmm. Dimensions don't determine themselves. I don't know if this is good or not. Shoot, shoot. That was years in the making. That's fine. That's fine. Remember your training. Shadows Um All right, so we'll just fight this thing. And then I'll block here here no, here, here. And I'll give this a barrier. Give us Lux. We can do this. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> I think we got this. So this is what it's like playing with a real constructed deck. I have a new method to evaluate. Oh, it's on. <laughs> Yeah, this Heimerdinger card's kind of ridiculous. We had so many free creatures. Because of Heimerdinger. Basically just drop Heimerdinger turn 5. They didn't have removal. Alright, we got this thing, whatever this is. Looks up epic. It's an epic card. 
What epic card do we get? Silent Shadow Seer. All right, the second one of those we got in today. So two, yeah, two more levels to get to the champion capsule here, and then we'll move on to the different to another region. All right, so far so good. All right, uh, Heimer Lux Control. There we go. GG's. All right, I'm just going to replace the 8-drop, and I'm going to keep the two removal spells in Heimerdinger. And we can just kind of build up our spell mana right now. Expedition tier list. Um, I've done like four, day, four, ex, four days of expeditions now. Um, I feel pretty good about it, but I, I think you kind of want to be aggressive. Uh, I like... Ionia, a lot like the Ionia elusive stuff. I think it works really well. Hmm. This chem punk pickpocket, chem punk pickpocket, just never strikes. Uh, Demacia. Also just has like, you know, good powerful soldiers. so much for the donation the happy birthday donation that was that's very kind thank you so much this is post patch yes um sorry So I want to do that so because now because this thing doesn't block, so they don't have a blocker. So I'm I'm hoping that you know they untap. I can attack right away and hit them with this three two. That's my hope. All right, so I can basically mystic shots, so then they don't draw two. They they get that thing back either way. Is Mystic Shot worth two random cards for them? Possibly not. Or, like, possibly it's better. I guess I... Yeah, I guess I... Basically turning it into a counterspell for divin... You know, a counterspell for a divination. It could be worth more later, though. Depending, but... We'll use it. Hey, what's up, Kendis? Check out the goods on this one. How's it going, Kendis? My, oh, my video is slightly behind the audio. Uh, well, we just started this recording. I don't want to stop the recording, especially that last game. That was pretty awesome. So I guess we'll have to get through this recording and then maybe try resetting. So what do we do? Okay, so we just got a brood awakening now. I got ways to find me mushrooms. How have you been, Kendis? And, oh, Sam, Kendis, everybody's saying happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, Stan says, I know it's uh, off topic relative to current gameplay, but I just want to say thanks. Having Watching you helped me think more about sideboards. I now just started best of three instead of just best of one on Arena. That's awesome. Cool, Stan. Yeah, I'm glad, glad you're enjoying the best of three and that you're uh, willing to go and try that out. Hisuku with the host. Getting the raid over here from everybody from 
Hasuku stream. All right, so what are we doing? We're stunning. All right, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Welcome. This is so. I just started playing. Um, we got a, another a backup Heimerdinger. Let's go and throw this out here. Started playing this game about five days ago now. Been playing mostly all expeditions. This is my first like meta deck that I used wild cards on. Before this, I would just I was just playing whatever. I'm probably never supposed to block with Heimerdinger. It's just a little one one. That's probably a bad idea. They of course can have the you know something die, do three damage spell. I'm glad they don't. Ooh, a judgment. Yeah, the expedition mode is so awesome in this game. It's so much fun. Drain three. Uh, do I protect it? I can't protect it. Can I do this? I don't know. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Perfect. Wow, Heimerdinger is busted. Burst is kind of busted. Heimerdinger is kind of busted. I've just got all these free creatures. All right, they finally got us. Okay, um, now let's kill this thing also. Or let's remove all the text. Not let that thing come back. And get another 2-1, of course. Alright, thanks, thanks, Asuko. Take care, have a good one. Turret Swarm. They got a swarm of spiders. I got a sw swarm of turrets. Of course, with these three mana turrets being the best ones. I think it's not worth playing the 1-1 one -one turrets. Yeah, maybe not always worth. I, I feel like it's it's maybe worth it against like these little spiders. Cause you know like they, they pump up like the the power of the spiders and stuff like that. We still just have so many cards. Yeah, so I can use Judgment if I want to. I don't want to right now. Like, I'm fine with this. We'll see what they do. Deal one damage to something. All right, that's fine. Ah, oh, the sweet smell of science. Rude awakening. Let's 
What's the four drop? A four one fearsome. Hey, yeah, but that's still not bad, Baloney Pony. Got four wins the first expedition. Round Only won the second, but. Still learning, and, and so that's good. Yeah, the three drops better than the four drop with the evasion being so good. I'm just going to trade or something. Also play this and get a T hex and then play the T hex. Yeah, I just don't don't really need to do that. We could, I suppose. I could play this thing, and then I get a six mana thing, but then I, I don't actually have the... I wouldn't have the space to put it in play, though. So I guess I'm just going to go chump, chump womp. What's the five mana thing? Quick attack? Eh. Lux. Let the light guide you. Ruination. What? Because the barrier doesn't save that, I wouldn't think, right? No. Well, I will rebuild. <laughs> I will rebuild. <laughs> That's what they say, too. They're like, I will rebuild. Um, sure. So I could obviously just go straight to attacks, and then they can't play a new thing, but whatever they play, I can thermogenic beam it. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, because now we'll just attack with these. And they kind of have to chump the pickpocket. If they don't, then we get a, a spell. They did not, so we get a spell. Kill an ally to draw two. I can do that. I'll draw two. Yeah, I don't I don't know what like a a uh, tier list of champions to play really looks like to be honest. How many cards do they have in their deck? There's 26 cards in deck. I think I'm just going to give them 10 poison puff caps. Because then if they... Because this does, does 3 to anything. So if they... If we get lucky and they get a, a puff cap, we just kill them. There we go. Got them a puff cap. Discard that. All right. That's
That's my first time playing that card. Get excited. That's my first. That's my first time playing that card, and it won us the game. Relax control. <laughs> we can rebuild them. We have the technology. Better, faster, stronger. <clears throat> I like it. Keep. I mean, there's no Heimerdinger in here, so I don't know if I'm supposed to mulligan because I don't have a Heimerdinger, but, you know, we have two removal spells. Early removal spells, we have the Chump Wump. Um, that gets us the extra Mushroom Clouds, that gives us the fuel for Get Excited. Sturdy blaze. It is... Blade. No, get out of here. Oh, wait. Wait. Back. I don't want to play that, actually. Let's play... This? What you looking for? I know. The Lux control deck we haven't used her at all. Oh, here we go. Maybe we'll use her now. Alright, they do block. See, it's not like I can't kill their thing and then they don't take the damage. Um. Mm -hmm. See, if I would cast the Mystic Shot first, they would just... Uh, They would still block anyway. Like that's how it works. Like they'd still have they still have the opportunity to go to combat and block. I can't do anything about it. The finest Demosian steel. I have to kill it on their turn. Forged, you won't want it. Hmm. Me mask, secure me tail. Ready for deployment. Gross. Three three tough. Yes, attack. Oh. All right, cool. We'll do our cloud. Thank you. Heimer with Ionia. Okay. So I can kind of surprise them. You know, I can remove all their stuff so they don't get the plus one, plus one. I can kind of surprise them with that. Yeah, I am, Poppy. Yeah, playing this uh, Legends of Runeterra game, which has just been really fun. Just, just a really solid game. I want to play Lux first, so we can start seeing the two mana I spend. We can do this. Shine with me. Uh, 
I'm surprised they didn't pull like pull the other lux pull the lux over there. They just let me do that blocking. I'm very surprised about that, honestly. I'm very surprised that all happened. Hey, Pine Piece, keeping that tier one sub going. You're awesome, Pine Piece. Thank you so much. Sub number 16 today. Hmm. Willing to do that block? Okay. Our ancestors are watching. Makes sense. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Hmm. I don't think I actually want to... This is kind of a waste of this card, obviously. Injustice. I'm just spending mana for Lux. I think I really need to play these Mushroom Clouds. But I don't know, maybe I will just start casting them. Yeah, the beam was definitely a waste. Alright. Dang. Alright, so I'm going to... Purify. I'll do the barrier. I'll do barrier. We're in a barrier lux. I'll protect you. Pushing my limit. So does that reset? Okay, so no, it's just zero out of six now. Oh, it's a slow spell? That's annoying. Okay, so yeah, so the excess does not carry over. And those things have to do damage to the creatures and stuff, right? Like they don't, it doesn't do damage. You can't just target target them, right? It says it deals to a unit, so yeah, I'd assume that's not. Yeah, it has to target you now. By the light. 
stolen and steal. Still so much to learn. Alright, we'll discard that. Do three, two. Doesn't really matter. Demacia. Yeah, I should have. Yep. No, you're right. I, I didn't really think of four Demacia, so yeah, I should have hit a 3 3 originally. Because then the other thing would have been, you know, like a 9 or an 8 4, and I would have been able to kill it. Never back down from what you believe. Which then I guess I didn't need to actually play my zero mana thing before combat, but to keep them from attacking. <clears throat> so that's nice. Arr! Yeah, first time playing Lux, I'm kind of learning. Yeah, le learned... Uh... Yeah, I've not played this the most efficient game so far. I got the goods. Yeah, we could just draw one of the discard one, draw two. Doesn't give it trample, as far as I know. I will hold the line. <laughs> uh, that's probably overkill. Basically, they, they really, like, how they're playing, I d didn't think they'd have another creature where I wanted to just get that out of here, then go immediately to attacks. You know, that was quite overkill. I mean, I guess I could have done that on my turn, then they play another creature, and then I still have the fleeting thing. I would have felt bad if they would have just suddenly then had a creature. All right, we're three now. Yeah, I don't know what they had in hand if they didn't have creatures. Like, I don't know what else they had in hand. Uh, replacing this, replacing this. I'll replace that too. This flash of brilliance is pretty awesome. Alright, Arclad. Or, 
Arkalud. Take care, Arkalud. Take from the rich, give to me. That was just a really bad decision by me. I thought for some reason I'd still be able to just trade there, but if I attack, they just obviously just block with the 1-1. One, one. I think they were supposed to save these Flash of Brilliances for after we play Heimerdinger. So I'm just going to get this thing out to make sure that I have another 3-3 blocker for Elise. Yeah, I mean, I should I should have played the Secession last turn, not this three two. But that's okay. We're still gonna do some crazy stuff in a little bit. Cool. That's a really good draw. I can play that. And still... It's annoying. Still have the three mana saved over for Heimerdinger next turn. Yeah, that was... That was a good quality draw, just drawing a two drop. Next turn's gonna be sweet. Home, Alabama. All right, so we'll play Heimerdinger. Oh, the sweet smell of Bring me the calm of an Frostbite, the strongest world. enemy. Flash of brilliance. Just free. Still free. Get some three ones with elusive. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> you've played twenty cards. I don't even know what this thing is. If you've played twenty cards with different names, this game summon catastrophe. One mana thirty thirty over. Oh, that's my. That's awesome. That's that's like my user thing. That's my. I have so many progress days. Catastrophe. My avatar. What is this? Kill all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. That's busted. All right, I want to burst in response so that I, because then I'll still be able to play something afterwards. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Hmm. So how does the mana work in this? It's the mana's over here. Basically, turn one you both get one mana. Turn two you both get two mana, and so on. T 
T-Hex. They said it couldn't be done. Progress! Progress. If you play the TX before Mystic Shot, Heimer would have leveled first. That's true. So if I would have played the TX first, then it would level, and then this thing would be a 2-2. I do have a backup Heimerdinger, so I can probably block Anticipated outcome. with this one. Hey, what's up, Rochin? I'm doing well. Oh, honestly, I, should, I probably shouldn't be playing that. That takes up a spot. Runs in our veins. I've drawn every single one of my progress days and more. What do we have here? <laughs> That's all I have. What do you what do you make at seven mana? Seven one with barrier, yuck. Get off the screen. Omen Hawks. All right, we'll play the four mana chump wump. Because I'll because i keep three mana left over to save, so we'll, we don't really need to play the other one. Come closer. I don't fight. I guess if I would have played the three mana one, then I could have four mana thermogenic beamed. That's fine. So yeah, ten is the cap for hand size. So we got the we're capped out right now. Hmm. That thing again. Hand is so awkward. My hand is so awkward. What if you play an 11 mana card? What happens? What happens if you play an 11 mana card? You get a T hex? Well, I'm playing this 11 mana card. I just none of these options are good. Like drawing a bunch doesn't really work. If I play, if I just cast these things to try to get them out of my hand, they just replace themselves with, with one mana one with the one ones. Out from the If I progress day, then it would be burst, and then I'd be able to cast the T-Rex also, but the T-Rex would have just blocked like that 4-4 that I just killed anyway. Rise, my creation! The tall is a mountain and covered in ice! Hmm. Stop frostbiting all my stuff. Oh, 
What are these draws? They're not good. Oh, I meant to cast this thing on that 4-3. I'll lead us to victory. Whatever. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Oh, all right. So I'm going to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. They grow up so fast. Oh, that's a harvest right there. Well, I got a full battlefield full of blockers. I got four fearsome blockers. How do I still have more progress the days? How, how do I still have more of these? I've already cast one. We've drawn three more. How, how am I continuing to draw these? I don't, I don't understand. I know Heim becomes one. I'm not talking about that, but I've already cast a regular one, I thought. I thought I already cast a regular one this game. One was from a flash? What does that mean? Oh, one was from that we got a random one from the the three mana thing that gives you the random spell. So we've drawn five of them. Gotcha. That was the other one. Well, that's lethal now. All the world on one arrow. How frustrating. We drew so bad that game. Drew all six of our, you know, most expensive cards. Couldn't draw anything like any kind of cheap 
spells at all. Drew five progress the days and three of the spend all of your mana for the one removal. That's just such a clunky hand. All right, let's put those back. <laughs> kind of just replace them with what we had. Oh, yes. Um, I have to, yes. Try to help remind me to get the, the deck code and put it on here after this game. This game's really cool, Rochi, and yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, so I don't have... I'll go ahead and play this. I don't have Heimerdinger right now. I'll just play it. I guess there's not really any rush for me to play it, though, because it's just always going to be free. It's always zero mana. So I shouldn't play it. So once I do draw Heimerdinger, it makes Heimerdinger much better. So yeah. Okay. So next time, don't don't cast that. This is live, of course. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't see that, your question. The comparison between this game and Magic. Um, I just don't wanna play anything. I'm just gonna waste that three mana now. Um, there's, you know, like it's, you know, you're playing creatures and it's, you know, there's a lot of interaction back and forth. That kind of stuff similar to Magic, but this game has... Um, I really love the, how close the games are, like the consistency with the, with the mana. I love the mana system of like both players playing uh, creatures. Oh, I can't block that thing. On during turns. End round. So this is like the same the same deck that we just played against. Playing against it again. It was right on my tail. Oh, I could have purified my own thing to, to remove. Makes sense. Secure me tail of the day. <laughs> Looks like this is a game where I'm just gonna be casting these mushroom clouds. Get them out of my hand. You never know. They may actually do some damage. I think I'm okay mana wise. Well now I wish I had another mana because I wish I had detain. Plus purify. But I was thinking I had, you know, like three of these things, you know, purify, single combat, mystic shot. Like I had three of these still available. 
Thanks, After Wizard. Frostbite two enemies. Rude. Nope. Nope. All right, so we're gonna purify one of these. Excuse you. We'll do the other one too. I can get out some birthday stuff. I am in Dallas now, Ankar. Yes. Thanks, After Wizard. Santa After Wizard. Sige Mister and Ankar join in the hype crew. They've played this. They've played this pretty slowly. The War Mother will unite us all. That's pretty sweet. That card's good. Yeah, that card's good. Uh, got here about five days ago. Or I guess... Uh, yeah. Yeah, about five days ago. Dude, yeah, you definitely have to give this deck, this game a try. It's, it's so much fun. All the games are really close, interactive. It's just like... You know, you don't have like the bad parts of Magic. You don't have the mana screw. You don't have the, oh, they're just playing this mono red and I... And I'm just, you know, playing this slow, like, you know, or like, oh, my deck doesn't interact with, you know, mono red or with control or whatever game one. And everything just kind of interacts and it's, it's nice. All right. Hikaram. Four, six, overwhelm. Attack. You get two spectral riders. Dang, that card's good. Hmm. This is where I should not have used that Purify. So I can do four here. Five, six, seven. I can just do four and six. So obviously I could try detaining and basically turning this into a deputy of detention. Oh wait, what happens? What happens if I detain, but how it has no, what happens if I do that? I don't know. Let's, let's figure it out for science. Does it then add stuff to it? Because I purified this thing before. I don't know what's going to happen here. Hmm. I guess it does say the detain afterwards. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Anna Tran? Happy birthday. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Anna Tran. A chill in the air. My arrow won't miss. I 
I think it, that if this dies, they get their thing back, I think. Because, yeah, it says detain. This has captured a unit. So I think because that was afterwards. So I feel like that's going to happen. Two mana flash of brilliance is pretty crazy. I was really hoping to, obviously we were hoping to draw our uh, Heimerdinger or Lux or anything like that. And a train again, that new badge. Cool, Ankar, yeah. Um, end round. They just pass, so they just make them waste all that mana. Yeah, so I think I need to save this. That's a good call. That's what I was thinking, too. I need to save this Thermogenic Beam for another Hikarum or a Commander Ledros. All right, let's, in response, Mystic shot this thing. going to use 10 mana. I guess I can burst this first. What do you mean? I can't target this. Oh, discard two. Um... Thanks, Rochian. All right, that goes back to their hands. I forgot about that. Ooh, take two. Yeah, maybe I need to detain again. damage happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I got a mushroom cloud? I have five damage in hand right now. If it would have been, I'll deal the four damage. That would have been nice. Mm, one mana short from playing that. Take from the rich, give to me. Sure, I'll just give them some more puff caps. Now they got seventeen. That that honestly, you know, like that may help us finish this game out to be honest that could help out oh i think that's fearsome that's a four four Ah, oh, the 
sweet smell of science. Yeah, that's our first Lux or Heimer of the game. We only have 19 cards left. Okay, so we went through like what, like 11? We can't block that thing, so to stay alive, we're going to have to double spell to try to kill it. Still have the mana for the barrier. Our strength is yours. Oh yeah, this card's good, man. I hadn't seen that card before. I really like this card, this hearth card. So they got Two blockers. Down to seven. another flyer our flyers can put them down to one after wizard thanks get down sub invader taco welcome to the channel they probably have more frostbite cards in hand so i probably don't have lethal i, mean, I could try though Try. Stand and defend. Yeah, basically never never play around ruination, the wrath. I never I just never play around it. I'll raise this deck test up a little bit. Basically just never play around it. So that's seven. They surrendered. We did it. Victory. Man, that looks pretty sketchy for us for a while. A little bit higher. It looked pretty sketchy for a while. But we did it. Dude, that was so close. That was so close. Well, this deck's pretty sweet. Ooh, mirror match. Oh! I didn't get the code for y'all. Sorry, I forgot to get the code. I, you know, like just that long game, I just forgot about it. A 
I got the goods. Yeah, it looks like a mirror match. Got a Dauntless. Got a Dauntless thing. Yeah, it looks like the same list for so far. They may have, you know, a few wrinkles here and there. Need to save this thing for Heimerdinger, because Heimerdinger is a a 1-3, so that's why I didn't want to kill this. They may, you know, like, block, then shoot. Oh, I don't have the mana to detain back. Yeah, that's my plan right now, Invader. Imminently logical. Yeah, I'm just loving this game. All right, so they have no mana backup. Opponent surrendered. Kill the Heimerdinger, win the game. Victory. All right, let me get the code for y'all. Leveling up. Okay, so how do I do it? So I go, I click here. Let's see, no, I have to go to collection. This. Share. Copy. Okay, now play, play. All right, so then add command deck list. There's the deck list right there. I will, oh, I know that there's that, that mobile addicts site I think you can log. I think I can log into that and start putting like deck lists on there. Can I do that? I don't know exactly how to. Wait, figuring it out. Figuring it out right now. I attack turn two. I'll keep that. Um, anything else I'm missing? Do 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 do. Sorry. Can't I like edit it or something? I mean, this is the deck. Sorry, opponent. I got the goods. So there's that site, website that has it on there now. But it's just it's just titled hashtag imported deck. <laughs> I don't really see anywhere to change the title. I couldn't figure that out. 
At least not quickly. Let's see, okay, so that actually hit. We got a scrap dash assembly. Slow summon two scrap scuttlers. That's not a very good card. Oh, well, I can rummage it away. Yeah, Dante. Yeah, this game is this game is really fun. Yeah, I've been playing this a lot recently. Yeah, this game is just really fun. Loot, loot. Do we get a hit again? Sharing is wow. <laughs> Not a bad one. So now they make a couple of one ones. Um play succession. So we'll have we'll have two mana to go along with Heimerdinger. It won't be three. I could have just not played anything and then we have three mana. So we have one less mana for me playing this. So it's basically like it just costs one mana then because of that. What seems to be the problem? Hmm. Okay, they were definitely wanting to do Heimerdinger with three back. Um, see, so yeah, I think I'll just wait on my Heimerdinger. Gosh, it's cost four cards to kill this thing. But that's just necessary. Added to the bug list. It costs us four cards to kill it and they got a free 3-1. <laughs> Flyer also. Well, if I play Heimerdinger, then I don't have any defense for it. Imminently logical. Mm. Another Heimerdinger? Nothing but rotating mirrors and projected lights. Oldest trick in the book. <laughs> it's really cool how they talk back and forth. Too many ideas, not enough hands. Why just one point two one gigahertz? This game's about to get crazy. Round and round and round it goes. All right, well now I have priority. What a celebration! Back to work. Change me. Um, my 
my most groundbreaking invention. This game's pretty crazy. <laughs> Deal three, two, and one. Oh man, what a blowout. Every time I played against that card, that card look, looked awesome. True Shot Barrage. I can put that in this deck. That card just always looks awesome. Unmealed crystal structures of unparalleled rigidity. My most groundbreaking invention. What time I rock in? Oh, you can't see it. Yeah. Um, there we go. Nice white tie. Um, This is so rough. Okay. That's good. That's good. I I don't think I'm winning this though. To be honest, I think this one is pretty close to over. I mean, it depends on, you know, like they got a bunch of spells, and it's pretty likely they have a bunch of spells. Hopefully this works. And we get to kill Hammerdinger, and then they don't get the flying creature from their deny. Hopefully it works. Deal one to two enemies, draw a card, okay. Perfect. Oh, they still, they get, oh, they get the, where did that thing come from? Oh, the one to two enemies draw a card.
They're really pretty. Confident that I can't survive this. Guess I should have blocked the one power thing. GG's. That first trade of killing their Heimerdinger, and then of course they had the second one. They had the two Heimerdingers, I had the one. But that first trade of like using four cards to kill it, that was a little rough for me. Oh, but then, but then of course that removal spell they had on, on the Heimerdinger. So they got just the one champion. Darius. First game of Expedition. All right, let me know how it goes, Ian Ray. Hopefully it goes good. This thing two three. Whenever I survive damage, deal two to the enemy nexus. I mana is kind of awkward. and looking for more stuff for different stuff uh, reporting in that's not really helping wait first game Boy, opponent plays turn not. three zed stand alone jeez I think it's a five two I gotta just kill stuff I need my mystic shots. Oh, that, that gives me a blocker at least and then I can still I'll still uh, save three mana so I'll have three mana back after Heimerdinger even though I don't have any anything to cast that three mana yet I mean I guess I have the prismatic barrier Cut him down. okay ready my turn I will hold the line Hmm. 
All right, I'm not gonna have any spell to protect Heimerdinger. Is that... Those things. They won't get past me. Uh oh. Well, looks like I'm dead. It's a good a good matchup for my opponent. You know, like I'm not like putting like creatures out to block or pressure in them or anything. So they just play like these things that can't block, and that's not a downside at all. So it's just you know one mana three twos and three mana five fours and stuff like that. So good. Good matchup there. Um, so I drew this so we can we can discard that, kill this thing. I can block here, Excuse you. block here, go to one. Face me. Oh, yeah, I could have just attacked, like, the last turn. That's true. Could have. Dang. Here to watch the bloodshed, sir. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. Hmm. I need to save that. Yeah, there's this eye that like lets yeah that lets you see how the combat's gonna work out. Yeah, I always forget about that. Basically removing fearsome from that thing. A sturdy construction. Um so I have some outs. I have my orders. Oh well, come on. Well This is whenever it attacks it does one to me. <laughs> so I have to kill that thing. That's gonna give me less outs. They, cause it's gonna be their turn. They can just go straight to combat, and then attack, and then I die. As far as I know. Man, what a hand! Oh, can I remove the tax and keyword first? Uh, probably not. But I guess I still just die to this thing. Nah, I can't. Yeah. That wouldn't have worked anyway. Oh well, great hand, great hand opponent. GGs. GGs. That was a that was a stompy deck right there that we just played against. That was definitely a, a big time stompy deck. I'm getting rid of the second barrier. That's still pretty slow. You know, like we're not doing anything until turn four. The chump lump is strong. We we draw other cards. Okay, there we go.
Um, yeah. Honestly, I'm, like, this specific list, like, I'm kind of newer to the game also. This specific list was a meta list. Um, so I don't have, like, a, a reason why Heim Repair is better with Lux instead of Karma. Um... I could definitely see Heimer pairing very well with Karma also. You know, with Karma giving you like those extra spells. What's that she got there? Yeah, so I, that sounds like a good, a good option also, basically. I got the kids. Karma is what Ionia. So you know it changes like some of the, the stuff that you get to play, you know, so you wouldn't have like the prismatic barrier and some of the other cards, but then you would, you know, try to change that to whatever Ionia has. This is just real awkward with our mana, how we're going to have like the extra two mana and not three. Don't be calling no enforces. Basically, these one drops just going to definitely trade here. Oh, not really much I can do about that. I mean, yeah, I could have barriered it, but then it would just trade again with the other thing. Because, like, if I play Chump Wump, then I won't be able to bury your Heimerdinger. But I also have a backup Heimerdinger. So even if they have removal for Heimerdinger, I have a backup. And then the next turn, I could go, I could have backup plus barrier. I got ways to find me so that's fine. Let's, let's get this in play. So they got removal. That's fine because I untap and play the other one. Okay, so yeah, you do the plus three, plus zero, or plus zero, plus three instead. Yeah, I like that card. Definitely given the, the plus zero, plus three. All these things are fearsome. So fearsome. Again, it would be nice to play Lux and then still have Barrier. Just like one mana... The people are my strength. Um A fine spectrum of pyrotechnics. Oh no, am I not gonna get the eight I'm not gonna get the eight eight now? Because I have too many cards? Oh no. Oh that was just a terrible decision. Cause you know, I need, cause you know, like that card's burst. So I was thinking that I'd be able to, you know, get the eight eight, then still just play the eight eight, block the six six with that. Oh, that was a poor decision. Yeah, that's like, yeah, 
You're a little off QQ. Yeah, I mean, I just lost. Yeah, I just lost like three in a row there. Okay, come on, let's let's get a win. Let's get back on track. Oh, it, this is gonna be a control matchup here. As real control. So Ezreal is a 1-3. Oh, wait. Undo. I want to discard two. QQ, thanks for the gifted subs. Oh, I can see the Devastian border from here. So Nimbus Maze and OTG. Welcome to the channel. Gets us to our sub goal. These old eyes still oh, was I, I guess I was one behind. Because it's one over our sub goal. Whoops. Thank you. Thanks, QQ. Um, I mean, I guess I got to kill these things, but then they get to draw cards. This is pretty awkward. I mean, I can purify first. Ugh. It's kind of a feels bad. Safeguard our home. I'm basically just paying two mana and discarding my Purify to keep them from drawing one card. Ugh. These Purifies have been pretty hit or miss. That was a good draw, because that keeps me at three mana. So next turn I can play Heimerdinger with Barrier back up. So good draw. Fit the curve perfectly. In Avarosa's name. Face me. That's a good card, this 2 1. Ah, the sweet smell of science. All right, we'll get to untap with Heimerdinger. But I think all that means is I'm gonna just play Lux. So they're just trying to get chip damage in while leveling Ezreal in hands. They can play Ezreal and use burst to finish you in one turn. So they, had, they have to target my enemy units eight plus times. So they have a bunch of stuff to target my stuff. I need to attack.
Whoa. Troop of Elnux? Let's play that. They got a ton of Elnux. Dang. Holy crap. Wow. Um. I guess that took too long. I was kind of debating on what I wanted to do there. I guess it took too long. I was going to do, I was going to kill two of these and get, you know, the final spark from Lux. Flip Lux, get a final spark, kill another. thing kill that thing no more holding back. they still get the four five And now we'll, we'll have all these this power in the air with all these three ones that we're going to try just attacking in the air. And I, I guess that's my plan. I don't have too much. Don't have too much other stuff. Okay, that's good. We can capture something. Frostbite an enemy with three or less health. Deal two damage to enemies. Ugh. Plus draw a card. That's a good turn. Hear that? Gotcha. I guess we're going to kill this. I'm just going to kill this huge Elnuk. Because I need to, I do need to play some defense. We get a T-Hex. We get a final spark. We're going to have the final spark kill this. This 3-1. And 
now we get our T-Hex. Heimerdinger flips. I guess I should have played the T-Rex first and flipped the Heimerdinger, and then this this tech would have got plus one, plus one, so it would have been a 1-2 instead of an 0-1. If I would have... Yeah. Yeah, Ezreal 7 out of 8 as far as leveling. Maybe I shouldn't have played this 0-1. Do, they, do I just get to see what they draw or something? I wonder why it showed me that. Oh, because it was overdrawn. They had 10 cards in hand, so then... Okay. Okay. Torches. Gotcha. So they just lost that card. I thought about attacking with the challenge. I was thinking about attacking with the challenger and just having the 4 4 kill my challenger. Because then I can play this Dauntless Vanguard and I get the extra 3 3 and I could. the extra 3 1 flyer and I could play that too. Okay, it's just gonna die here. So that's good. So we can just play this and get the 3-1. Or it's a 4-2 now. Even better. What's this Ezreal going to do to me? So it's Nexus Strike, Creative Fleeting, Mystic Shot in hand. When you cast a spell, deal 2 damage to the enemy Nexus. Oh, these things burst. <laughs> Check me out. The world's a these things are all burst, so I can't respond to them. Yeah, so they just they just play all those and I lose. And I can't do anything about it. Yeah, so I'm dead. Can't do anything about it. I can't can't respond to burst stuff. Well, that's pretty sweet. Whoa, what? That worked? What's going on? Why didn't they just kill me? What? Yeah, I don't I don't know why I didn't just die. I will hold the line. Not sure exactly what's going on. 
mission must begin somewhere. So they got two cards left besides all these six mushroom clouds. No, because yeah, like they had they had the Ezra leveled or uh, Ezreal leveled in play, and so every every time they just cast one of a spell that deals two damage to me. So they could have just cast that deal two damage to me and so on and with all of that stuff. Yeah, burst is the fastest thing. So you, yeah, you can't respond to burst. Fast, you can respond to fast. Fast, you do get to respond to. We'll get a 990 hex. Not 990 hex. <laughs> 99 T hex. Yeah, they punted. Yeah, I should have been dead. They just got all these mushroom clouds and then one other card. Don't know what that card is. We're gonna discard those, draw two more. Gonna keep the battlefield clear because we can play another T-Hex. Well, they drew another Ezreal. Nah, darn it. So they figured it out. They figured it out this time. Figured it out this time. Man, we started so good with this deck. We've lost four in a row now. Lost four in a row. Dang. All right, let's play one more with this deck before moving on to another deck. The the equalizer. Well, I guess not the equalizer. You know the the rubber match. So for it all, so. All right, my opponent's got a hodgepodge of aggressive stuff. They got a bunch of aggressive stuff. here you name it I'll nick it. so we're back in that kind of awkward oh wow do we get to hit them 
awkward part where we're gonna have two mana available and not that's a great draw and not uh three when we'd want to play heimerdinger All right, so they just passed to me. Because if they if they would have attacked, then I would have you know grasped. Be the problem. <clears throat> but they just passed because you know I had to pass first, so they just passed to make me waste my mana. And didn't attack. So many just cool little things like that in this game. We got got a couple of random spells. What do we got? Deal three. Oh, we got that card. I love that card. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> round this is round so powerful. That is very powerful. Oh no. Our banner will lead the way. So I got nine mana. I'm gonna drain three from a unit. <clears throat> Skip block. Um Hoping this works. I guess I could have blocked with like my three two and then you know done the true true shot barrage. No, yeah, this is a this is a good tier deck. Um, I'm I'm in just kind of a rough streak right now. This is this is a meta deck that I. Um, That I, I didn't build. That that's a, a good meta deck. Oh, that's that's a good card. I've lost four in a row. I'm just in a in a rough spot, rough spell. And some of those I've, you know, I'm new to the deck. I could have made some better decisions. All right, give our Heimerdinger a barrier. All right, well, I'm reading her down. Added to the bug list. But we still got a lot going on over here. And we got another Hammerdinger in hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, try this deck. Um there's a there's a link to the deck list there. Yeah, give it a try. Let me let me know how it goes. Hmm. Answers. I have them. Random spell. Radiant Burst is the random spell. Yes.
Perfect. That was great. Round and round and round it goes. Yeah, it does seem like the, the patch changes did did help out Heimerdinger control and maybe, you know, a few of these cards need to change a little bit. Some of our cards have been better than others. You know, like the five mana capture and the purifies haven't been spectacular. I'm not sure exactly what I'd want to change them to or anything, but that's weird. I guess it, it is just a chump block either way. Oh, never mind. They're frostbiting. All right, fair enough. Oh, I could I could have purified that, and then it wouldn't be, would have been frostbit anymore. See, there's little things like that that I'm missing because I just haven't played played the deck too much and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I could have just purified my creature then it wouldn't have been frostbitten anymore and then they would have traded so i could have basically i could have done two two mana kill their five five i smell a fight which is a lot of damage hmm what's going on So playing another three drop that can get us another one of these spinny things. My shield is my sword. Have you met my shield? Good luck. Have fun. Today we fight as one. Don't be calling no enforcers. So now, now I have the room to play this other three one. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> I guess I should have thrown a three one in front of the the Trindamir if I wanted to kill it. Maybe I didn't want to kill it though. What what do I make with for seven mana? A seven one barrier. That's not that good. So deal three here, two here, one. Mm. Maybe just do one to them. Maybe just do three, two, one. Yeah, that's that's definitely my plan is just to win with the elusives right now. I mean, they just got the two cards in hand. I got the four elusives. Definitely my plan. Elusives, attack! Opponent surrendered! Alright, there we go. Two and a half hours. All right, we should probably switch decks. But we finished with a finished with a winning record. There we go. We hit that rough patch, but got back on track and finished with a winning record. So that's that's Heimer Lux Control. Um, I think somebody in chat. I think they said said there was a. A Mega Mogwai deck, I think. I think something said, Jack said that, but um, you know, we were looking for something to use Lux. Lux wasn't spectacular for us, honestly. Maybe better to um, play a different color. Because, yeah, I didn't love the Detain and the Barrier you, you can replace with, you know, a similar thing that gives like plus zero, plus three, and then Purify. Yeah, so maybe it's better to go a different, different color, go Karma instead of Lux. 
Because basically all, all the Demacia cards were kind of the ones that I didn't love. Detain, Lux. Um, I mean, Barrier is great, but you can, re you can change out Barrier. Um, but Demacia, Lux, Purify. Yeah, everything else is the uh, Piltover and Zahn. So yeah, I could definitely see playing Heimerdinger in a, in a different color combination instead. Yeah, Lux is Lux is kind of in the wrong region, but I mean that's that's how Lux is story wise too, though. Um, kind of in the the wrong region, but definitely a fun deck to play. That was cool playing, you know, a, a good meta game deck, good meta deck. Um, Heimerdinger is crazy, crazy. All right, uh, we'll build another one here and uh, play another deck. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you do. Please hit that like button. And, um, and of course, leave comments. Let me know what meta decks you're playing in the ladder right now with Legends of Runeterra. Because I need to keep on you know, making some new decks and everything like that. So um, you know, send me those decks that are doing well, and I'll see what I can make. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll play them. All right, but thank you so much for, for watching some Heimer Lux Control, and I'll see you for the next video.